Today we will discuss about how GDDR7 memory could solve PC gaming's VRAM woes so let's get started. Welcome to Hi-Fi Consumer. Micron's latest announcement promises a significant boost for top graphics cards at the perfect moment. The next-gen GDDR7 memory standard is set to debut in early 2024. It remains to be seen whether this will solve VRAM limitations or add to the persistent GPU price surge. Micron aims to replace the aging GDDR6, GDDR6X video memory standards with the upcoming GDDR7. During their earnings call, Micron revealed their plans for GDDR7, which seems to be progressing well. However, it is important to note that even though GDDR7 is expected to hit the market in less than a year, it may take some time before it is incorporated into GPUs. The arrival of GDDR7 will bring a significant bandwidth boost to graphics cards, benefiting both lower-end models like the RTX 4060T and RX 7600. Micron aims for an impressive 36 gigabits per second bandwidth per pin, surpassing the current 22 gigabits per second in NVIDIA's GDDR6X and 20 gigabits per second in AMD's GDDR6. This upgrade will greatly enhance memory bandwidth, with budget cards reaching 576 gigabits per second on a 128-bit bus, and high-end models like the RTX 4090 achieving a massive 1.7 terabytes per second compared to the current maximum of 1 terabyte per second. Micron's upcoming boost in memory bandwidth will be enabled by their latest 1SS, 1 Beta, node, utilizing deep ultraviolet lithography, DUV. The subsequent node, known as 1Y, will leverage extreme ultraviolet lithography, EUV. Micron's announcement couldn't have come at a better time, considering the growing concerns surrounding limited VRAM and memory bandwidth in gaming. The recent backlash towards NVIDIA's $400 RTX 4060T, equipped with only 8GB of VRAM on a 128-bit bus, highlights the importance of GDDR7 RAM and the significant performance improvement it could have provided. Micron's timing for the release of GDDR7 lines well with NVIDIA's plans, as they are not expected to launch a successor to their RTX 40 series until 2025. This allows NVIDIA enough time to transition to GDDR7. AMD is likely to follow suit, although they still have a smaller range of RDNA 3 cards to fill out before moving on to the next generation. However, the downside of GDDR7 is the potential increase in GPU prices. Considering the already inflated prices of current gen cards, this does not bode well for consumers' wallets. Moreover, the GPUs that would benefit the most from this upgrade, such as mid-range and entry-level cards with narrow memory buses, may not receive it immediately. While we might see an RTX 5090 with GDDR7X VRAM, the RTX 5060 may not be as fortunate. It is important to note that nothing is certain at this point and we will have to wait and see how the situation unfolds thanks for watching please like share and subscribe